driving a rig. For this example, I want my rig to point at the yellow sphere. And again I'm using a distorted curve and a sphere. And if I change the curve's distortion and sphere position, I can update the baked values and the rig will follow. Have made a curve that can be easily displaced. I'm storing the position of the sphere as a vector. I have called the attribute target pos. My rig's hands are using IK constraints. If I give the hands both a damp track and copy location constraints and target the geometry notes object, the hands point down towards the object's origin. Importantly, the attribute I'm going to bake, the yellow sphere's position, is in world space. The hand and other bones are in local space. So we'll need to use an empty as an intermediate. I have added an empty cube. I will make this empty follow the sphere. And then make the hands and other bones track the empty. And so avoiding world space local space complications. The position attribute of my sphere is named target pos. I select my object enter the name and hit plus. When I hit bake, target pos as well as any previously listed attributes will be baked. But very importantly, you can see that the values are highlighted orange here, not yellow. This means they may not update when we scrub the timeline. There may have been an issue. This is a bug we're currently working on with the add-in. To fix this and make sure your values are yellow, simply change the value to any number, whether manually or by scrubbing, and hit bake again. Now the values are yellow and they're updating nicely. We're going to use these values to drive the empty cube's location. Again, we can right-click and copy as new driver and paste driver onto the empty's location. The values being a vector, we have to paste from left to right. X, Y, and Z. Now the empty follows the sphere. For my rig's hands, I target the empty with dump track and copy location constraints. The hands now follow the sphere. I also give the head and torso bones a damp track constraint, targeting the empty. And so if I update my curve I can rebate the values, and the rig will follow.